afternoon, 47. Your target is Vito Duric, arms dealer and sanctions buster. Although the subject of a global manhunt, the target has successfully evaded capture and prosecution for more than a decade. Tired of waiting for the slow wheels of international justice, the client has turned to the ICA. Intelligence places the target inside the Swedish consulate, most likely involved in the operation to extract Strandberg. The situation is fluid, but this is our best opportunity to eliminate him before he vanishes again. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Gunrunner Elusive Target for Year 3. In this video, I'll be showing you two different methods for this one. The first method is going to be for basically new players, where they'll have no equipment and no start locations. So I'll be starting the default location for this first method, and I'll be using the default loadout for newer players, and showing you a really easy way of doing it. Method two is going to be for more experienced players with a lot more equipment, and a lot better start locations, and it's obviously a lot faster as well. So pick whatever you want, one you want to. I'd appreciate it if you watch them both, though. They're both very good, and they're both very... very uh, Good ways of actually learning about this elusive target so here's method one method one again like i said is for newer players and for least or less experienced players and the very thing first thing you should do is skip the opening camera cutscene that's panning at the very start you want, i do that on every single one of my videos so make sure you do that every time you follow one of my guides it's really important to make sure everything lines up perfectly um so from the very start what we need to do is go to the console garage because that's where the target is going to be and we're going to take him out. Now, they have made a slight change to uh, last year. Uh, and I will, I will bring that up when I get to that point. Because I don't want to confuse anything right now. Once you're over here, we're going to grab the crowbar from the top of this barrel. And then we're going to leap over this wall. There is a security guard right there. But it doesn't matter how close he is. As long as you're fast, you can get through there, no problem. You'd have to pretty much be standing there to get spotted. So don't worry about it. So leap over the wall. Run straight to the door and go straight through it. So, as we stood up, we're going to run around this garage right here, stay to the, close to the wall, and then crouch at this point. There's a lot of people around this area. The target's in the middle. We're going to grab both of these explosives. Stay crouched for this. Again, go back the way we came. And we're going to approach this car here, and right ahead of us. And right behind it, we're going to go into our inventory and just click drop item. For me, on PlayStation, it's triangle. Xbox, it'll be Y. On PC, I'm not sure what it will be. But uh, we just need to make sure we drop it right there. At this point, we can put the explosive away and then select our crowbar from our inventory. Before you go through this door, though, just check where the security guard is. Hopefully, he's just standing right here like this. He stands here for quite a while, so he should be standing there for you. Throw the crowbar at his head. Knock him out. Pick up his, uh, his, his rifle and the crowbar the then take out the remote explosive that you have in your inventory and then trigger the remotes that will explode the car that we took out a little bit earlier while this is happening what we're going to do is drag the body and put it in this locker and put his disguise on so now what happens now is the target is going to a target lockdown and he's going to come straight in through this bunker he's going to have four guards surrounding him diana points out well one of these guys are basically on your side but it doesn't come into play at all throughout this mission maybe it was cut content i'm not completely sure but he is surrounded by four guards and they're the most stupidest guards that i've ever seen why it's because you could you could i think if i remember correctly you could actually stand here in your suit and they just wouldn't care don't test it but I, from what i remember that's that used to be what it was they you, they would just run straight past you because their their priority is to just get the target out of there they're not bothered about anything else so what's going to happen now, we're waiting for them to come out of the target lockdown so they can go back to their regular position. Now, last year, I would place weapons on the floor, uh, three weapons on the floor, and then three guards would come back and one of them would disappear. And then all three guards would take the weapons away and they'll leave you to the target by himself. However, that doesn't happen anymore and all four guards come back with him. So it's not really a possibility to do that anymore uh, unless the timing is really, really small. So to avoid that timing issue, I've come up with a different method, which is, you could say it's even easier and better. Uh, all you've got to do really literally is the four guards are coming back with him. And what we're going to do is just bump into him. Bump into your target. He's going to be the guy in the waistcoat, of course. And the reason for doing that is just, that's all it is, is to just slow him down. 
bump into him for a few times, you'll get a question mark above his head, and he'll turn to you and make a comment. Meanwhile, all four of his loyal bodyguards have walked right past him, and are going are heading straight back to the garage. Meanwhile, your target is now very, very far behind them, all four of them, and there's a big enough gap here between you and the guards and the target where you can take him out, and you've got all the time in the world to do it. As I said, the most stupidest guards that I've probably ever seen. So you can take him out with the fiber wire and put him in the locker. So his body is hidden. Really, really easy. You don't have to bother with the, uh, the, the gun distractions like we did last year. You can just literally bump into him a few times and that's it. Easy peasy. And from this point, it's literally just running straight to the exit. There's nothing uh, here in between. But, yeah. They, they, I think they made, they made that subtle change. I mean, last year, they, that guard, one of the bodyguards, they literally just, I don't know, they just phase out and disappear. Weird. But it's always been like that. It's always They've always had four guards that go down at the bunker and three guards that come back. I'm not sure what the changes were. I think one of the guards probably walked away in the bunker. I'm not completely sure how it will work, but it's only now that it's changed compared to last year and the year before and the year before, etc. And you could argue that it's uh, a lot better than it was before because you don't have to worry about gun placements or timing. Uh, so it's so obviously a lot easier overall. But there we go. I'm going to exit right here, and that's the Silent Assassin written. For method two, we're going to start as the consulate janitor and undercover in the consulate building. Bring along a seeker one, a lethal syringe, and electronic key hacker or scrambler, whichever you use to unlock doors. Whichever one you have that will unlock key card lock doors. And with this method, it's actually quite easy and quite quick. That's if you have all this equipment and stuff. Obviously you need that, obviously, otherwise it weren't going to work. Uh, the first thing we need to do, though, is grab the consulate car keys that are going to be laying on this table. I'm going to use that for the exit. Next step is to head down to the consulate car, uh, the garage, where the target actually is. Now, once you get down there, you will be in a trespassing zone, so I will just uh, yeah, yeah, sure, remind you to be careful when you're down here. I have an update, 47. Interpol has so use the card hacker on the door. Target, and at least one undercover agent Stay crouched. Come to this, this pillar over here. The so Stay in the blind spot of all the guards around here. We'll take out our seeker. Swap shoulders for this, and you need to make sure that you... Uh, Work out the trajectory of this dart. Aim it a little bit over his head. Once the 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 white dot goes, you know, hollow, you'll have hit your target. We need the other dart as well, so just make sure you don't waste it. So as he heads over to this uh, puke spot over here, which is going to be the bin, we are actually going to use the second dart on this guard over here. So swap shoulders again. So you're peeking over your uh, that shoulder there, what I just showed you and take out that guard. Once he turns around, he, there's no one over here to spot you now. So go ahead and take out your syringe, syringe your target. That'll be a poison kill for you, and that'll be job done. Stick close to the wall, stay crouched, and run straight to this exit over here. Just be careful and be quick. Exit mission, job done. Just before we exited there, the body was found, but to remind you every video that whenever we do an accident kill or a poison kill when the bodies are found you don't have to worry about it spoiling your silent assassin rating because that is how poison kills and accident kills work they don't spoil your silent assassin rating when bodies are found so easy silent assassin under two minutes really easy really quick simple job done gun ready year three completed so that's going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out and subscribe if you want new to the channel and the little bell icon, I recommend clicking it and click on all notifications to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Or you can follow me on Twitter where I'll give you all the not video notifications as well. So, apart from that, consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details of that. Get your name added to all these credits. I really do appreciate all the support recently. Thank you very much. And I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.